Are we good this morning? Ah, you see, when I look upon you, I see God's people. Amen. Some were sent and some just went. But in order to make a dent in the enemy's tent, you better be serving God 100%. <laughs> only then, only then will heaven consent. Amen. You see, many times we come into the church. I'm not to entertain you, but I'm really a pastor who loved God and understood that I have to grow. How many of you have to grow? Amen. Amen. Growth is important. The natural man grows because of his natural ability, but the spiritual man always growing. Amen. And we grow in the knowledge of God. I have a short space of time. I want to acknowledge the power of God in bringing me here. I am not a passenger. I am a messenger. And you are messengers also, amen. A lot of people are just passengers. How many believe your life is a message, amen? amen. Pastor Amro, thank you so much for your welcome me to the altar and to this place and the love. What you have is what you can give, amen. And this is a man of God, apart from, may not have much, but he has love, amen. And I love the worship. Come on, somebody put your hands together and give God the praise, the honor and the glory, amen. Now, I'm trying to keep very quiet and still because inside of me, a volcano is erupting because I've got revelation knowledge, amen. So I'm going to try my best to give you the word of God that it is intended to do. It's not to entertain you, but to bring you into the fullness of what God intended, amen. One of the things that I have found very, very important, and I, I say this out of humility, is that sometimes we need to know what is our mother's tongue. Anybody speak their mother tongue here? I heard a sister said, who just came from the trip, that she had to remember if she could speak English. Amen. So what is the tongue? And sometimes we have a situation where we cannot communicate because we are not speaking the same language. Amen. So I'm going to tell you, I speak a language, and I hope you can speak it too. So I'm going to ask it to the church. Does anybody speak the language of faith? I said, does anybody speak the language of faith? Yes. Let me see you. Wave your hand. Sit back. Wave your hand. So tell somebody, my faith speaks louder than my situation. My, my faith is always speaking. When I'm, when I'm in trouble. How many lift your hand and say, I, I speak by faith. I live by faith. I walk by faith. I talk by faith. Amen. Are you hearing me? Hallelujah. There's another language that I am grown to know, and this is a language I wish more people in church do it. How many speak the language of love? Oh. oh. I'm not talking about just talking love. I talk about walking in the language. Amen. Well, look at somebody. Tell them, you know, I love you with the love of God. <laughs> say, say, Lord, thank you that I don't see the outside, but I see the inside. Amen. Hallelujah. There is the greatest need right now is to understand that we are God loves children. Amen. Amen. God loves you. Hallelujah. So when I speak this morning and I pray that, as I said, when you make the discovery, you will be on the road to recovery. <laughs> when you make the right discovery, amen, there is a tendency for us to, to, to read Bible and all this stuff, and yet we are disconnected because we don't have revelation. Amen. You see, if you can make the right connection with the revelation, you will end your frustration and you will enjoy your salvation. Amen. You see, a lot of times, hallelujah, we are calling on the pastor when we should be calling on the master. He works faster when you're in a disaster. Amen. You need to change the angle when you are in a tangle. Don't look at what the devil has to dangle. Your life will get strangled. Amen. You got to have an eternal purpose. Somebody say hallelujah. Are you hearing me here this morning? I don't want to go into that, but did you enjoy what I said? Amen. Yes. 
It's not foolishness, it's wisdom. Amen. I want everybody to shout knowledge. knowledge. Say it again. Knowledge. Say accurate knowledge. knowledge. Say exact knowledge. exact knowledge. Say I believe, I believe. In, the Holy in the Holy Spirit. He's my teacher. He's my, teacher. He's my, guide. He's my guide. He is with me. He is in me. He's in me. I'm, alive. I'm alive. I'm in love, I'm in love. with him. Amen. Give him praise and glory. Hallelujah. You're getting that in your spirit. Amen. Amen. Come on, clap your hands and give him praise. So this morning we're going to have a, a timeline on me. So um, I'm, I do not work with watches. I do not work with time. But I work with the Holy Spirit. Amen. And God has laid a word in my heart that I could bless you with. Is that okay? Amen. So I'm going to go to my Bible because uh, sometimes we speak and we need to get straight into the word and get into what God has to say. Amen. Amen. So... Father, I give thanks and praise for this day. Thank I thank you that the lips of clay will begin to speak into the hearts and the spirit of men, that they will know you and understand who you are. I give you thanks, O oh Lord, for the glory of your word and for the wonderful team that are ministered on this altar. I thank you for everyone that have came here. You gave them the unction so that they could function that they had no malfunction here, but they were all functioning by the power of the Holy Spirit. So now I come in agreement with your word, and God's people says, amen. and amen. Turn with me, if you can, to the book of John. Jesus is going to speak to us. And um, this has been uh, from the Gospel of John, chapter 17. Are we okay? Are we okay? Can make some. I like to hear. I like to hear living people praise the Lord. Amen. Let everything that have bread what? So every time we have the Bible, we praise God. Amen. Amen. In John chapter seventeen, verse three, and this is life eternal, and this is life eternal, that they might know you, the only. True God and Jesus Christ, whom thou hast sent. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This is life eternal. Eternal life. So I will start by saying, and the Bible says we must rightly divide the word in order for us to become mature. It word of God must be rightly divided. That's why we have something called Old Testament and New Testament. Amen. Amen. Old covenant, New covenant. Amen. Amen. Bible says any man be in Christ, he is a what? New a new creature. Having new features. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Creature with a new feature. Having the ability to function in the natural and in the supernatural. Amen. Amen. Having the ability to be in spirit and in flesh at the same time. So the word for you, if you may not know this, but the Bible says there are two words that denotes the word life. And I was talking to my brother and trying to say, Lord, what do you, because this is deeper life. Amen. 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 So what that means is, oh, can I say something? When I say amen, can you say hallelujah? hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Got it. Okay, thank you. So... The Bible says that after the fall, Adam called his wife. Before the fall, he called a woman. But after the fall, he called her Eve. Are you there with me? The Bible says that in Genesis chapter 3, somewhere verse 20, I can't remember exactly, but you know it. He says, and Eve became the mother of all living things. Are you there with me? The word life in that context comes from the word bios. The word bios, amen, means, I'm a big word that you all may know, it comes from the word biology. Amen. amen. So the biology that you have, you got from Adam and Eve, amen. amen. Bios. Are you there with me? Amen. Your bios is where you function on the earth. But the Bible talks about a man became a living soul, and he have another Greek word that talks about Emotional life. Can we say amen? amen. And you say? Amen. 
emotional life. But that life where we have the bios and the pursuit or the emotional life was corrupted. Amen. Yeah. Are you there with me here? The corrupted. Because the Bible says, Adam, in Adam, we inherited a body. We inherited an emotion. Some of you may not even know this, but you have genetic memory in you. Come on. Amen. Your genealogy. It speaks about your, your hair, your color, all these things. It is genetically coded. Amen. So, what am I saying to say to you this morning? I'm here to minister you to you the life of God that is in you today. Amen. As in Adam, all die, so in Christ we are all made alive. There's a difference between the word there because Adam gave me biology and psychology, but Jesus gave me eternity. Amen. Come on, somebody say hallelujah. Jesus, in John chapter 1, says, In him was life, and that life was the light of men. Amen. I'm loving this. How many are loving this here today? How many of you know that every single day, if they are not received Christ, you, could, you, you know people say this, I'm a child of God. You can never become a child of God until you're born again. You're God's creation, but you're not in God's family. Only when you accept Jesus Christ. Could you all say amen? Could you all say hallelujah? Get this in your spirit. We are saying, we call the wrong things and we get confused. So there are many of us, <clears throat> we are in this place where we are unable to truly identify and trace our roots in the word of God. And because of that, we get corrupted and we get this, we get uh, this distraught because we trail ourselves to an island, to a man, but you and I should trail ourselves to, the, to Christ. Amen. Here's one of my prayer lines I use all the time. I say, Father, do a work in me that when others see the work that is done in me, that they will trail it back to you and not to me. So you will always be glorified. Amen. How many is all about him today? Amen. Stop making it about, stop making it about people. Make it about him, amen. amen. Stop making it about who like you and who don't like you. He loves you, amen. amen. He settled the story, hallelujah. But the natural man, the carnal man, is a man who's trying to live spiritual, but he's still holding on to the carnality, amen. You are unable to have e the effects of eternal life until you acknowledge Jesus Christ, amen. Amen. We go, we go into another scripture. So the Zoe, which is eternal life, when does it start? Well, a lot of people tell me when I die, I go into heaven. Isn't that what we all believe? Amen. No, I mean, is that what we say? Yeah. When we all get to heaven. So at this time, we are in a little misery and a little. But let's see what the word of God says. Is that okay? Because I think some of you have watched the word and maybe you're looking through a crack mirror and not through the polished mirror. Amen. Amen. He that look in the perfect law of liberty sees a reflection of himself. Amen. What does that mean? I'm sorry, but I'm here not to shake you, but I'm here to lift you. Amen. Amen. And to build you up. Hallelujah. The Old Testament man, when he found himself in trouble... He spoke like this. Remember, he did not have what you have. You've got Jesus, amen. amen. you got to finish work, hallelujah. Amen. you got power, amen. amen. Come on, lift here and say hallelujah. hallelujah. You've got something that Job didn't have. Amen. You've got revelation, amen. Job, when he had his problem, guess what he said? He says, man that is born of a woman is a few days and full of trouble. He was only talking about bios, biology. And I'm going to tell you something. Biology, there is the system of biology in your body because of, 
of, of one word. Everything in your natural life will fail. I'm sorry to say it, but the systems of the world will fail. And your system will fail. Most people die and they write it. If you ever see a death certificate, they say things like this. Heart failure, kidney failure, lung failure. Are you there with me? Amen. Yes, yes. The natural man is a failure. Yes, yes. But in Christ we have victory. Hallelujah. Yes. Thanks be to God who has given us a victory. Hallelujah. Yes. Thanks be to God. So why are we looking for here and now when we have here, now, and after? Amen. Amen. Are you there with me? Amen. Amen. So so we're going to understand there is so many things that we, the church, need to acknowledge. Could we say amen? amen? Not just believe, but acknowledge. Act on the knowledge you receive. Yes. That is where the power is. When you start acting in the revelation, when you start moving in the demonstration and the operation of the word of God in your, your body says, the Bible says, let the weak say. Let the poor say. I am who he says I am. I can do what he says I can do. I can have what he says I can have. I can go where he says to go. Come on, somebody. Come on, that's good. Amen? There was this guy who was, who was on, a, on a train, a Christian guy, and he was sitting there on a long journey, and he was there sitting, and three other guys wanted to play some cards, and they encourage him and say, hey, can you join us? The game is calling for four people to sit and to, to play this card. And he said to them, I have no hands. <laughs> so they looked at him and said, but no. Is that real? You really don't have no hand, but we see your hands there. Yeah. Are you there with me? Amen. He said, I have no hands. There you go. And they, they, they said, but we see, are you, are you trying to pull something on us? And he looked at them and says, my hands is not my hand. It belongs to Jesus. Amen. Come on, somebody. Amen. Why it is that so many of you say, my trouble, when you say, I don't have any trouble, I have Jesus. Amen. Stop possessing and claiming what it doesn't belong to you. Amen. What he did belongs to you, Amen. His victory is my victory. By his stripes, I am whole. Amen. He became, he became sin so I could become the righteousness of God. He became weak so I could be made strong. He gave up his father so I could have an eternal father, a heavenly father. Somebody say amen, hallelujah. I don't want to get too deep here, but... Do you know that eternal life, let's turn to John epistle if you can, and it's just such an exciting scripture for us. Um, in the book of John, you're doing really well this morning. I tell you, when you come into a ministry and you could see there's a hunger for the word, oh, we know somebody's in trouble today. <laughs> Hallelujah. It's not you. In 1 John chapter 5, and read with me if you can, in verse 11, and it says, And this is the record, amen, that God had given us eternal life. And this life is in his son, amen. Glory to God. Let me read this again for those of you. Very slow. You must understand what is present and what is past and what is future in your Bible. Amen. Amen. A lot of people mix up the whole scripture and they talk like Jesus hasn't done anything. I believe in the finished work of Christ. Amen. How many believe in the finished work of Christ? Amen. Some people still trying to do good works to get to heaven, but I'm saved by the finished work of Christ. What is grace if we don't have the finished work of Christ? Grace of God is God's willingness to use his power and his ability on my behalf to do for me what I can never do for myself. 
Oh, I'm hearing somebody here today. Grace is God's willingness to use his power and his ability on my behalf to do for me what I can't do for myself. How many know that he's willing to do it for you today, man? Don't you talk about grace like it's cheap. It costs him his life, amen. There's nothing called cheap grace. We have amazing grace. Somebody say hallelujah. Hallelujah. So when you understand this, you understand the, the, the concepts of your Bible, it changes. You grow. You start. The Bible says, Jesus, says, you do error because you don't know the scriptures. You make an error. And that's why your life is full of terror. Because you're living in error. Amen. If you had faith, it will be great. Amen. So, so what happened is, if the moment the, the ignorance goes, the wisdom comes in, and you put a devil not over your head, but under your feet. The Bible says, you know, I had the privilege of being in Israel for a while, a couple of years, and, a, and, and, and I had so, we were so brought up in Judaism that we had to, we had salvation of the Jews, and amen, praise God, I love it, amen. So I hope you know this, but if I follow the Jews, I'm going to find myself in trouble. Because they, they found Jesus and they rejected him. But I'm going to follow the one that he came to his own and the own received him not. So we went to this wall in the old part of Jerusalem called the Wailing Wall. Now let me stop there. Could we say amen? amen. And this is a record that, that God has given us. Some say given. He that had the Son had, and he that had not the Son of God have. And these things I have written to you that believe on the, on the, on the. So you got to read your Bible. Because that's what the, this, is what, what the, this is what the Lord preempted and designed this morning. No other song could have been sung on this altar but the name of Jesus. Did you all know that this is what it's about? Do you know that the name of Jesus, ah, glory to God, is highly exalted? I went to the wailing wall, and they told me, thousands, even church people, the blindness, and we go there, and they say to us, take a piece of paper, push it in the wall, and start bowing and crying. And thousands of people crying at the wailing wall. Because in the night, it says, when the night comes and the morning comes up, the wall looks like it has tears and God seeing your prayers, so he started to share tears. That's not my Bible. <laughs> and you go there and you put your prayer in, thinking that I'm so glad that wailing wall has fallen. How many of you know that the wailing wall, but at the praising place? Amen. amen. I am not in old Zion. I am in the new Zion. Amen. amen. Where the two or three are gathered in. Yes. Jesus' name. Somebody say hallelujah. hallelujah. Get this in your spirit. Church, wake up to the reality what has passed and what is today. Amen. amen. You are not going to get eternal life. You have eternal life. Amen. You have eternal life. You say, what? Really? If you start living from God's revelation, you change your life around. Amen. He that had the son, had, pastor, he that had the son, have what? Your life eternal. Learn eternal life. Say, can I challenge you? Lift your hand and say, I have the life of God in me. Lift your hand and say, the Lord say, I have, I have the, life of God. the life of God in me. In me. Say, wake up, body. Wake up, mind. I have the Son of the living God in me. Greater is He that is in me. I'm above, not beneath. I'm alive. My spirit is alive. My hope is alive. Hallelujah. Lift your hand and say, Praise the Lord. Living people, amen. Life in you. The Old Testament, I love it, 
But there is a difference between Old Testament and New Testament. I love Psalms 91. How many of you say amen here? Amen. But I have to see Psalms 91 not in the eyes of an Old Testament. I've got to see it through the eyes of Christ. Amen. amen. The Old Testament promised you with long life. Long life is in the Old Testament. That's why we have to eat. They give you a dietary law, whatever they give you, how to dress. How It's dietary. Life in the Old Testament was for long life. In New Testament is eternal life. For God so loved this world. He knew no one could give it but his son. Amen. Life eternal. Amen. Bible says in John 3, 16, can I have somebody who may not know? Let's say it loud for everybody to know that we know Bible. Come. For? Amen. I know some of you said it in the, like when I used to do in school, and I can remember what the teacher saying. I just mumble out some of the things. As long as my mouth working, it's good. <laughs> But the verse that blesses me is right under there. Verse 17. It says, For God sent his son into the world not to con, not to what? But the world through who? Not through you, not through me, but through him. I'm say, Hallelujah. So let's look at the word that the word through him might be saved. The word that you're looking in, the, and those of you are very well educated, you know that. That word translated in to be saved come from the word sozo. Amen. To be saved. So when we say we are saved, we kind of kind of westernize it and Christianize it, but we didn't let it become biblical. It's not about just saying a prayer and going to heaven. Oh. <laughs> That's what people think. I said a prayer, I'm going to heaven. The Bible didn't say that. Somebody say amen. amen. The word sozo means to be saved, yes. It means to be healed. It means to be delivered. It means to be rescued. It means to be restored. And it means to be brought back to original condition. Ooh, wow. Did you get what I'm saying? Amen. Have you ever restored an old picture? Can you wave your hand? Have you ever? An old photo and you restore it. You brought it back to original condition. Amen. It was more than just saying a prayer and going to heaven. It was heaven coming to live in you. Amen. It was heaven coming to dwell in you. Amen. The Bible says the kingdom of heaven. John the Baptist says the kingdom of heaven is at hand. In other words, he's saying, it's reachable now. What you couldn't reach before has arrived. Amen. Amen. When it reached you. See, some people sit there and they're like, oh my God, they're so depressed because they missed it. And I, I love you enough to tell you the truth. Is that okay? Amen. You have eternal life. Amen. It's a gift from God. Amen. You don't work for it. He gave it to you freely. Amen. Amen. It's up to you to believe it. Amen. Shout it out if you can. Out with the doctors, in with the shouters. Let's lift our hands and say, I have eternal life. Have say it again. Watch your neighbor and say, don't mess with me. I live in longer than you know. <laughs> don't come to my funeral because when you say funeral, I've been revival. <laughs> I'm surviving, amen. We didn't come here to strive. We didn't come here to, we didn't come here to let a grave win. The grave has lost. It's for Jesus boasts and says, the grave has no power over him. If it have no power over him, his victory is your victory. Amen. No religion can promise you that. No real, They will tell you how to live good. They will tell you how to chant. They will tell you how to breathe. They will tell you how to live on earth. But only Jesus can tell you about heaven. Because in him was eternal life. Give him praise and glory. Hallelujah. Therefore, I make a boast this morning. He was not earthy. He was from heaven. Amen. Therefore, he became the way, the truth, and the life. Somebody say amen. The Bible didn't say no man go to heaven. Jesus said, I am the way to heaven. That's the problem. He says, I am the way to the Father. Let not your heart be troubled. You believe in God, believe also in me. Amen. In my father's house, huh? 
And then he comes and says, I am the way to who? To the Father. Let's do a little... I, I don't know if Pastor said a little hummy back, but I don't know if you will because I'm just going to do what I have to do. Amen. How I many you know that in the Old Testament there were three great men who brought revelation light concerning God? The first one was the name of Abraham. Could you say amen? amen. And Abraham, my dear friend, by faith, his father was a God maker in the Chaldeans. And by faith, he decided not to worship the moon and the stars and nothing else. He decided to worship a God by faith. My Bible says through that action, he became the father of the faith. And he knew God under a covenant called Jehovah. Could you all say amen? amen? He was a friend of God. Say friend of God. We have another man who brought a certain level of understanding, and his name was Moses. And Moses was known as, he saw the burning bush. He saw the fire. But he had to get a revelation. And he says, who you are? What is your name? Remember that? Amen. The scripture says, he says, God spoke to him. He says, I am that I am. Which is called the Tetragrammaton which is also known as the unpronounceable name of God, where, the, where he even put it in the law. He says, now thou shalt not take the name of the Lord thy God in, because you're going to have problems if you do that. So he put fear instead of faith. I'm loving the New Testament. Somebody say amen. amen. So he, he was known as the servant of God. Bear with me. Are you bearing with me? Abraham was a friend of God. He brought the revelation of covenant. Abraham and Moses was a servant of God who brought the revelation of worship. Are you hearing me? There's another guy. And he was beautiful. He said, God is my rock. He's my fortress. Anybody know what I'm going with? He's my refuge. He's my shepherd. He is my high tower. What's his name again? Oh, glory to God. David brought a revelation that God is my shepherd. He's my very present help in a time of trouble. Come on, amen. amen. And he brought a certain level of relationship to the revelation of God. Remember, man didn't know God. Could you all say amen? amen. So what was, jo what, what, what was jo um, David title? He was known as a man after God's own heart. So we've got... A friend of God, we've got a servant of God, and we got a man after God's own heart. Amen. Amen. But they could only give you glimpses of God. No man has seen God at any time until the sun appeared. Amen. Amen. Oh, I wish somebody say hallelujah here. He was the express image of the invisible God made visible. Amen. He was. Hallelujah. When you sit there and you say, well, I'm sitting here serving Jesus. You're not just serving a or part of. You are having the revelation of who he is. Amen. If you get the revelation of who he is, every knee shall bow in this place. Come on, somebody. Jesus... No man knew who he was. John the Baptist says, if I said, I don't know who he is. But the spirit bear witness that the one that the spirit come upon and alight upon him. I know that will be the one. Yeah. The moment Jesus stepped into the water to be baptized, hallelujah, in the Jordan. Anybody know I'm talking the truth? Yeah. At the moment he stepped in there, the heavens opened up and a voice and a light came in, and the dove came over and said something amazing. It said, this is my beloved son. He that had the son have what? He says, this is my beloved son in whom I am. Well, what? Did Jesus do any miracles? Did Jesus do any works? Did Jesus do anything? No, he didn't. He just was a son. Some of you are beating up yourself. You are just so frustrated. I'm not praying enough. I'm not. No. Just be who he says you are. See yourself how he sees you. Listen to the voice of God. Hallelujah. Stop living with guilt, condemnation, and shame. And live with righteousness, peace, and joy of the Holy Ghost. Somebody say hallelujah. Stop living, amen. Like you're afraid death. Death afraid you, hallelujah. 
Jesus says, no man take my life. I'll lay it down and I'll pick it up again. Hallelujah. I wish somebody lift your hand and say hallelujah. I'm not preaching to unbelievers. I'm preaching to believers. Act like you believe it. Amen. Act like you believe it. Amen. To be absent in the body, I'm present with you, Lord. I walk through valleys and shadows because you are with me, Lord. I don't have no fear. Come on, somebody say hallelujah. Not because the Bible says any man in church, you could be in church night and day. And you could be faithful in church and have no faith in God. Your faithfulness does not mean you have faith. You got to have faith in God. That's where it changes. Come on, hallelujah. When you have faith in God, you says the body is not feeling well. This is happening. Everybody turn against me. But you turn to yourself and say, Lo, I'm with you always. Amen. Don't you feel that God made a promise that he could keep? Amen. Wave your hand if you believe it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Somebody shout, I got a life of God in me. Say it again. When you look in the mirror, say, I got a life of God in me. When you hear the doctor report, I've got a life of God in me. When men talking you bad, I've got a life of God in me. When the world is stumbling, I've got a life of God in me. I've got his power, his ability, and his nature. Amen. How do you know that? Joy, the Bible says in 1 Peter chapter 1, how do you get born again? Not by your confession. You're born by the word. The incorruptible word. Amen. Being born again of the incorruptible word of God. That's how I get born again. The word conceived me. When the word conceived me, amen, I was born again. I don't have a past. Look at somebody who says, I'm a new creature. You can't dig up what is new. Amen. Anybody know they are brand new here? Wave your hand. I'm not condemning you. I'm just telling you what the Bible says. God sees you in Christ. Any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. All things have passed away and behold, all things have become new. Somebody sitting here and they're thinking about last night. I smoke and I drink and I do. You see, your problem is you're still using your old ID card. In Trinidad, we change our money. And when you change your money, you know how some of us in Trini, or, or, or I guess all over the world, you don't hide money somewhere? <laughs> and they give us a deadline to bring all the money that you have so we can change it. And then we can get back with a new order of things. Are you there with me? Yeah. Guess what? Guess what? I push my hand in my pocket and I see a $1,000 there. Deadline gone. Are you there with me? How do you think I feel? I look at this thing. I know it used to be important. It used to have value. Now I'm making barbecue with it. <laughs> it's just good for the fire. Are you there with me? How many love God this morning? 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 How many really love God this morning? I'm going to show you why I love him. I love him because he first loved me. <laughs> it had nothing to do. When I was wicked and wild and whatever, he still loved me when I was unlovable. Didn't stop him, amen. Because that's who he is. Because of who he is, I am what he says I am. I can do what he says I can do. I can have what he says I can have. Anybody say hallelujah. hallelujah. The word. If you're excited about a word, you are now going to grow in the knowledge of God. Amen. That's where we excite. I don't want to get excited about who the pastor is and who the church is. Get excited about a word. Amen. And then nobody will have to come and beg you to come Wednesday. You will come. Amen. Because the spirit will call you. I didn't anybody grow up in the days where you had to go to church five times a week. Anybody? <laughs> Wave your hand if I see you. Then. Your mother have you go. You go into church when you ain't going to go to church. You're sleeping in church on yourself. <laughs> Are you there with me? Are you shaking your head? Amen. Amen. 
Pastor preaching good and your head going, mm hmm. <laughs> not every not every nod head means that somebody's hearing me. But the Spirit is talking to you this morning. Let me, let me get back to serious things. You've got to see yourself. God sees the way God sees you. He didn't see you in a box. He didn't see you in a graveyard. He saw you in heaven with him. We call that in scripture. Please bear with me. It's called the created value. God did not die for your depreciated value of yourself. He loved you because he created you. And because of your created value, he, gave, he paid a premium price called the life of his son so you could have eternal life. You're not cheap. You are a chosen generation. You are a treasure for God. You are not rubbish. Lift your hand, somebody. Come on. It says, know ye not that you are the temple of the living God. That he dwells in you. He dwells in you. That you will shoot for the praises of God. He has no hands today but your hands. He has no mouth today but your mouth. He has no eyes today but your eyes. See them the way God sees them. Talk to them like how God will talk to them. Love them the way God loves you. How many of you know forgiveness is a big thing with God? Wave your hand and say hallelujah. My time is coming to a close. Did you enjoy the word so far? Yeah. And this is a confidence that we have. Somebody say confidence. confidence. That if we ask yeah. anything, yeah. to anything, anything. According, according to his will, yeah. he will hear us. Yeah. Did you know how Jesus' prayer was different, how you pray today. Let's talk about Jesus' prayer in a little bit. Jesus goes to the graveyard. Let's see a typical modern day Christian who have been trained in warfare. He goes in the graveyard, and we go in the graveyard, and he says, I bind the powers of darkness and every demon that is in this yard, I command it to be. And do we say those things? And there will be no grave spirit for. Are we talking? Am I talking to you? And you do. Jesus goes to the graveyard, and he said, follow me, right? He says, Father, I thank you for always hearing my prayer. Yeah. See what he said? Uh -huh. Father, confidence, I thank you for always hearing my prayer. Yes. Then he didn't buy no demons because he knew who he was. He knew his identity gives you authority and immunity. Once you know who you are, you pray differently. Amen. I wish somebody lift your hand and say, Father, Father I, thank I thank you for always hearing always. My, prayer. my prayer. I know, I know. Your, will your will is being done is being in my life. Yes. This, body this body will not fail. Will not the fail. spirit of the living God, the living God. abides in me. He walks with me. He talks with me. He lives in me. Say there is no failure. I wish you put your hand on your heart and say, heart, get with the program. God lives there. Put your hands on your kidneys. Says, kidneys, you can't fail. The blood paid for that. Put your hands on your lungs. Say, lungs, breathe now. The blood paid for that. I am, I am alive. alive. Hallelujah. 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 Praise the Lord. Stand to your feet. Amen. Just glory to God. Glory to God. We're going to just go ahead. Go ahead. I'm just hearing the Spirit telling me stuff. So I'm just trying to listen to Him a little bit. It says, My mirror is the Word of God. I don't see myself, don't see myself. The, way the way people see me. Man sees the outside. God never sees the outside. He always sees, you finish with me, he always sees the what? The what? All right. 
I've got joy. Let's say it again. I've got joy. I've got peace. And I've got love. Lift your hands now.